The grace of the Lord is upon you once again, my son, or so the religious supporters are saying nowadays. To be honest, I miss the comparison. We nationalists tolerated those foreign immigrants for too long, President. We nationalists have come. Today is a good day for the proud state of Nebraska. I have been appointed vice president of the greatest nation in the world, the good old U.S. of A. I am not a crook. The rebels are launching an attack. Presidente, our weatherman. A decisive victory.
sir. I, the military committee of Protico, feel that... The tornado retreated, President. The rebels are launching it. We will not fall into your trap this time. A decisive victory. Rebels are We're launching an attack. We're transmitting live from the field where rebel forces have recently launched a full-scale attack against the palace. The army is ready to repel them, and our own Penultimo is going to join the fight. That's right. I will give my life for El Presidente. Charge! But Penultimo, the palace is in the opposite direction. He's trying to circle around and attack them from behind, I guess. President, traffic in zoo. Repicalo, Jimmy. A decisive victory. Citizens of Tropico, I would like to address you in this crucial time of our development. In this it's finally over. I have restored peace and order on Santa Teresa. I don't understand why everyone wants to ruin my plans. It's not enough that I had to tolerate the bickering and whining of the tropical factions, but I had to deal with Marco Moreno and his rebels. I still don't know who was backing him. No matter, I won, he lost. Things are looking green between the U.S. and the USSR. They are building up their nuclear arsenals, competing to see who can build the most missiles 
Thankfully, the immense power of these weapons has brought a strange form of peace. No one wants to attack because both sides will be obliterated by the other's nuclear weapons. The Caribbean has become a hotbed for the US-USSR conflict. I have to take advantage of this situation and use the superpowers to build up the Tropican army. Presidente, the Yankees have a new doomsday device called DEFCON. If this DEFCON drops down to one, the world will end. Presidente, the
Presidente, in these uncertain times, we need a strong economy more than ever. Presidente, we have an opportunity.
A petition has arrived at the palace. Insist Tropical, I would like to remind all students of the consequences of misdemeanors in school. Attempted murder of a classmate. Spanking. Successful murder of a classmate. Spanking. Becoming a rebel and blowing up the school. Meeting with the school counselor. Assassinating El Presidente, right? I will not kill Presidente again. One hundred times. Thank you. 
Estaba yo pensando en travesuras de la vida En lo mucho que te amaba y en lo mucho que te quería No me explico ni cómo nuestro amor Y lo fingías una relación que yo amaba llena de sabor Llena de mentiras y ahora que lo sé ya no te quiero I love Diplomatic Summits, Presidente. It's always a show. People shouting at each other in different ways. <laughs> Peace and love, dear Presidente.
The workforce of the island is simply not enough. Some building. God does not need temple. A drought, Presidente. Mother Nature is gently reminding us how many resources we consume. Can you feel the heat, Tropico? Record temperatures today. Everyone is rushing to cool off in the ocean. Farmers are worried about the fate of the crops, and the weather ahead is predicted to be extremely sunny and hot. Just like you, my dear. There is an opportunity here that can make us all rich.
Well done, Presidente. Election is the talk of the day. People want to... To show their support and love for El Presidente. I even wonder why people need elections at all. But the people want to express their opinion, Penultimo. And they can do so by voting for El Presidente. Presidente, the military has carried out a coup d'etat on the island of St. Clara. There's good money to be made from nuclear missile tests, Presidente. My son, do you know what all tropic hands should do more often?
We have quite a few ambitious projects. Presidente Tropic and My fellow Tropicans, I want to stress the great progress we have made. Production has increased steadily, exceeding 25% in some areas. I tell you, we will complete the five-year plan in four years. This is progress. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The shacks in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Still, as Presidente, I have worked hard day and night, done quite a job to ensure my worth for the responsibility you have bestowed on me. Gracias, amigos. As a nation, we have come a long way, but we still have a long way before us to reach our goals. God is my witness that we will build a church in Tropico during my next mandate. Our minds are cold, our hearts are hot, our victory secure!
Comrade Presidente, an article published in the Pronda. Our hot topic today, housing. Don't you think there are too many homeless people on the island, Penultimo? Homeless? If there were a single homeless person in tropical, I'd be the first to know it. It's very old shack. Yeah, but to live in a shack. A home is a home is a home, sonny. To live in a shack. Or tomorrow's mansions, as long as we faithfully follow El Presidente, right? Right. My dear Presidente, Presidente, China is going to execute a famous journalist who is in opposition to the party. European media are in an uproar. Congratulations, President. Tally ho, old boy. The riffraff back. Following the celebrations of the overwhelming victory over the opposition, El Presidente will depart for the USA to give lectures on free voting, sustainable democracy, and civil society engineering. Switzerland is next on his tour. Sir, an enemy.
The tornado retreated, Presidente. Let's uh, take a look at our island. Presidente, may your children...